Good morning. This is my fifth take on this video because I don't want to sound like a numpty and give you misinformation. So basically in this video, I'm going to try and talk to you about a documentary I found on React. Now, I'm not a programmer. <clears throat> you hear me all the time talking about cloud, cloud technology, what's in the market, but cloud, 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 cloud. That's, that's my speciality. But I can't, I, probably a little bit, not dishonest, but biased in not actually trying to understand the languages that, you know, of the infrastructure I actually put them into, the languages that go on top of that for people to use in regards to like applications and stuff. You know, a good, a good DevOps engineer, in my opinion, understands how the programming languages work. So in this video, I'm just going to talk to you and share with you a documentary I found on React. It's helped me try to understand, you know, the whole world of this programming languages stuff. Man. Because it's just like, okay, where, do, where does programming languages come? How does it evolve? You know, um, why, why do people make things open source? Uh, you know, why is it the community of open source is, is important? Uh, uh, you know, did you know that React was actually created by, you know, other engineers, programming engineers within Facebook? And that's quite interesting, isn't it? Because you would have thought, hmm, multi-billion pound, million US dollar company who would, you know, is interested in revenue and stuff like that. Well, why are they not charging people for free app? Why did they allow it to go open source and all these sort of things? It's not all about money, I get it. But the point being is you got to ask yourself the question, you know, why? This video this documentary that I'm going to share with you in the comments below, in the description of the video, actually, not in the comments, but the description, will have the link for the video and stuff like that. It's a, probably like an hour and 50 minutes long, and it's really cool to see where where this has come from. So let me share my screen. So just hog it. Uh, can I share? Share the screen. So I'll just get rid of that. Yeah, so React, this, this documentary is good. It's good for us to watch as DevOps engineers, DevOps consultants, architects, whatever, because it's important to understand the language and how is it used, why is it important, all these sort of things. The main characters of the Facebook companies, these three, these, well, one, two, three, this person, this person, and this person. This, this dude came on like at the end. But it's really important and you see that this person here, this woman, is like more or less in the middle in in of the group because that's the keystone between making it of something uh, from what it was developed internally to how it is actually external. You know, who's using it, why. And to be honest with you, if she didn't actually start to, to use React, probably wouldn't be as successful as it is. But as these guys internally develop um, React, this individual here took it even that step further. And it's, it's fundamentally important for us to try to understand the languages of where we actually implement in some of these tools. So I'm not going to play the documentary, sit here and watch it with you. You can do that on your own. But it's really interesting to see, you know, where just going to be that where you know some of these individuals have come from you know um why they created react you know might mind you some of them as you can see now are working from home with this documentary created from home or probably facebook they don't want to have them in the office but it, it it's really important to watch i'm just trying to find there's a clip somewhere around here like where netflix at actually adopted it because netflix i don't know if you're an early user or adopter of netflix you know when it first came out but it was heavily pixelated and it was you know the the, the images that you saw in the videos that you need to go to the website and stuff like that wasn't really wasn't really crisp so they use react and you know, there you go. Here's a little inside scoot as to like, you know, what other 
products, companies use React. React is very popular. You can see why the way how it, it, it makes it, images look really crisp and clear. And, you know, I couldn't, you know, as you can tell, I'm, I'm probably really excited and happy to actually have found this documentary because it's given me that inside information as to, you know, how, why a company will use certain things. Ah, here we go. So this is like the early days of, of Netflix. You know, it looks kind of dull, kind of not really interesting. It's not very interactive or anything of the sort. And React has actually made it that whole lot better. If you like this, this user interface of React, uh, of, of Netflix, should I say, you know, you can thank React for it. And there you go. That's it. You know, I just want to share that with you. This is a short video. It's not about me. It's about finding this documentary and share it with you. It's only nine days old, like you see from there. Wow. When I originally actually uh, was watching the documentary, it was at 300 um thousand views now it's jumped to 401 um that's quite impressive it's 100 000 views more people over the weekend who actually found out watch it and that's us you'll be watching it together so anyway i urge you to watch the documentary yes sure it's a program programming languages that you may not be interested in but it will actually make us better engineers by understanding why people use such tooling if you can learn the tooling, if you learn the language, that's actually good itself. You know, and that's it. I hope you enjoy. And yeah, see you soon.